fifth wheel couplings and kingpins form a safety critical connection between the tractor unit and the semi-trailer. The forces which they're subjected to during daily use are enormous and consequently these components are being subjected to increasingly strict safety legislation. The construction of the Yoast fifth wheel coupling guarantees a maximum degree of safety. The red kingpin guides ensure the correct positioning of the kingpin during the coupling operation. The recess built into the patented lock jaw prevents dangerous false coupling. The fully supported locking bar ensures additional support when closed. The double tension spring offers additional safety. We'll now give you an overview of the most important aspects to be observed during operation. Mechanism sizes for fifth wheel couplings and the corresponding kingpins are available as 2 inch, 3.5 inch versions. We generally differentiate between these two mechanisms for manually opening fifth wheel couplings. By lifting the automatic latch, the operating handle can be pivoted forwards, withdrawn and hooked onto the edge of the main plate. To open the one-hand operation, the handle is drawn out until the locking edge is exposed. Then pivoted forwards to enable the handle to be completely withdrawn and hooked onto the edge of the main plate. These four bearing types are suitable for differing application areas. Thanks to its maintenance-free rubber cushions, the C-bearing offers the benefit of higher shock absorbency, particularly over rough ground. The pivot bearing E helps to achieve the lowest possible mounting heights and is maintenance-free. It's particularly suitable in combination with sliders and dual-height fifth wheel systems. The K-bearing is designed to provide longitudinal flexibility. This design helps to protect the chassis frame during lateral distortion. The cardan bearing G reduces torsional stresses in the truck chassis in off-road conditions, thanks to its double oscillation. Due to the high loads, it's designed as a double pivot bearing with wear-proof bearing bushes. The transverse oscillation should be disabled for on-road applications. The fifth wheel coupling is mounted to the frame or auxiliary frame of the tractor unit. The bolted mounting plate has an additional stabilizing effect on the tractor unit's frame. Mounting plates are available in various heights. The required fifth wheel height can be achieved through a combination of different pedestal heights as well as mounting plate heights. The light pedestal 
pedestal offers the advantage of a lower weight as it can be directly mounted to the auxiliary frame and does not require a mounting plate. A further light pedestal which is directly mounted to the vehicle frame without an auxiliary frame. The angle mount combines the advantages of transverse flexibility with a low weight. It's mounted directly to the vehicle frame using a special bracket. The slider enables fine adjustment of the fifth wheel coupling position on the tractor unit. This way, tractor trailer spacing and load distribution can be optimized and the total length of the trailer truck shortened, for example for ferry transports. The standard version has a sliding distance of 660 millimeters. The XXL version up to 1066 millimeters. The dual height system supports the flexible use of a low deck tractor unit. The pneumatic height adjustment of the fifth wheel coupling enables operation with both mega trailers as well as conventional semi trailers. In addition to the chassis height adjustment via air suspension, the height can be additionally adjusted by a lift of 200 millimeters with the dual height system. At regular intervals, at the latest every 5,000 kilometers, the lock jaw of the low maintenance fifth wheel coupling must be lubricated. Fifth wheel couplings equipped with Lubetronic are automatically lubricated over a period of three years. The driver is required to check the safe coupling of the fifth wheel after coupling or prior to departure. Innovative sensor systems support the driver's check with additional displays. With standard couplings, the locking state is indicated via an indicator pin at the locking edge or by the automatic latch arrangement. With the Flashtronic, the locking state is confirmed via a sensor of the handle. A flashing LED indicates that the lock is closed and secured. With the sensor fifth wheel coupling, the condition of the sensors is constantly monitored and indicated via a remote display in the driver's cab. The sensor coupling system SKS is a sensor fifth wheel coupling which additionally is fitted with a pneumatic cylinder. This also enables the driver to open the fifth wheel coupling at the push of a button and an in-cab display shows the state of the coupling. The Comfort coupling system KKS not only offers remote display and operation of the fifth wheel coupling to the driver but also the option of operating the landing legs from inside the cab. For coupling the fifth wheel coupling has to be open. The driver lowers the tractor unit until the fifth wheel coupling lies below the level of the semi-trailer rubbing plate, slowly reverses, lifts and couples to the kingpin, operates the parking brake, 
steps out of the cab and checks the coupling state. No gap must be visible between the semi-trailer rubbing plate and the fifth wheel coupling. With one hand operation, the indicator pin must no longer be visible. With the automatic latch, the latch must be in the closed position. With Flashtronic equipment, the LED must flash. Then he connects the hoses, winds up the landing legs and removes the chocks. The vehicle combination is ready to start after releasing the trailer brake and the start of journey check. For uncoupling, the driver operates the parking brakes of the tractor unit and semi-trailer. Positions the chocks, winds down the landing legs, disconnects the air and electrical hoses and opens the fifth wheel coupling. An effective lubrication of the fifth wheel coupling and the kingpin prior to initial first use and at regular intervals thereafter is critical for long service life. With the low maintenance fifth wheel couplings, the coupling plate need not be lubricated. It's recommended to apply a thin grease layer to the semi-trailer rubbing plate to prevent corrosion. Fifth wheel couplings with manual greasing need to be uncoupled, cleaned and re-greased at regular intervals. However, at the latest every 5,000 kilometers. With low maintenance fifth wheel couplings and couplings with central lubrication systems, this has to be done at the latest after six months or 50,000 kilometers. In addition, the fifth wheel coupling, wear plate fasteners, mounting plate, kingpin and their fastening elements should be checked at this time for function, wear, corrosion, damage or cracks and correct torque and repaired if necessary. The wear plates have to be replaced if they are worn down to the top surface of the fastening screws. The wearing ring has to be replaced when the wear limit of 17.5 millimeters is reached. The lock jaw has to be replaced when the wear limit of 17.5 millimeters is reached. Wear of the king pin is indicated by play in the direction of motion. Excessive play leads to heavy wear and may result in impaired coupling safety and damage to the fifth wheel coupling, mounting plate, slider and vehicle frame. Wear must not be compensated for by means of readjustment. The king pin has to be replaced when the wear limits are reached. The locking wear limit is reached when the distance between the lever boss and the coupling plate no longer exists. Further adjustment of the locking mechanism is no longer possible. In this case the wearing ring and the lock jaw have to be replaced. The rubbing plate of the semi-trailer should be checked for evenness and damage in the contact area of the fifth wheel coupling. If excessive wear or damage is found, then the semi-trailer rubbing plate should be replaced. To remove the lock jaw, initially the double tension spring and the jaw spring are released. The hexagon socket screws of the wearing ring are removed and the wearing ring removed. The pivot bolt withdrawn. The old lock jaw removed. And the new one installed in reverse order and partially with new mounting parts. The 
tightening torque specified in the mounting instructions should be adhered to. To manually lubricate the fifth wheel coupling, the yellow surfaces must be generously greased. With low maintenance fifth wheel couplings, the wear plates need not be greased. To lubricate the lock jaw and locking bar, the fifth wheel coupling must be closed. Readjustment of the locking mechanism must be carried out with a semi-trailer without a steering wedge fitted and with an unworn kingpin as follows. Uncouple. Loosen the locking nut. Screw out the adjusting screw by around 50 to 75 millimeters. Couple. Pivot the handle forwards and hold. Screw in the adjusting screw until the handle starts to move. To adjust back to the initial play, screw the adjusting screw further in by one and a half turns and secure it with the locking nut. If the play is still excessive, the wearing ring and lock jaw will need to be replaced. Initially, the fifth wheel coupling must be closed. The screws holding the wear plates are cleaned before loosening them. The wear plates are fastened with new screws using the recommended tightening torques. Then the fifth wheel coupling is reopened or set to a ready to couple state. All low maintenance fifth wheel couplings can be retrofitted with the Lubetronic. The easy mounting can be carried out by any specialist workshop. The specially coated lock jaw is extremely wearproof. The electronically controlled lubrication cartridge supplies the jaw with accurately dosed high capacity grease automatically and securely for three years. To activate the lube, the protective cap is removed and the start button pushed to start the Lubetronic. The start date is noted both on the lube and the sticker which is fixed in an easy to see position. To confirm activation, the LED in the push button is illuminated for 15 seconds. The lubricant feeder can only be activated once and cannot be switched off after this time. The Yost fifth wheel couplings ranges JSK40 and JSK42 can be retrofitted with Flashtronic for sensor supported locking monitoring. The modern construction of commercial vehicles aggravates the manual control of the fifth wheel coupling. The Yost Flashtronic monitors the wear state with a sensor. An LED at the handle indicates that the locking is closed and secured. The easy mounting does not require any additional wiring since the unit is electrically self-contained. <laughs>